hello everyone so today we are back with another informative video and this time we will let you know is it a good idea to sell jewelry online the the answer to this question is absolutely yes the thing is so if you have any online store related to any kind of jewelry then there are various platform where you can run your ads on or you can do some the seo side of things in order to get the sales so now we will talk about the ppc side of things that is you can run the ads on google and then you can run the ads on facebook plus microsoft ads to get some sales for your jewelry business online so, so now there are various ways by using which you are able to show your jewelry products to various visitors online who are interested in buying your products rather than to those who want to do some kind of research or on those things the main type of campaign that works for this kind of website is basically the google shopping ads so now with the google shopping ads the thing is you should be able to show the ads to the visitor who are looking for the products like yours so for example when somebody searches something on the on the google search engine then on the right hand side you should be able to see the various listings about the products that is the jewelry product if you search for the jewelry related keywords those listings will have the product pricing they have the product image and they have the product description they have the product headline so you should be able to see what kind of products that you are looking at and whether you are you can give that sort of price for that sort of product so whenever somebody clicks on that product they go to the product page directly and they are one step closer to giving you a sale so using a shopping ad that is one of the most important thing we probably need to have separate campaign on google ads for each type of product that way based on the roi we get we will be able to do the budget optimizations the bid optimization can be done based on the roi over the period of time we will be able to see what products are selling better than the other then we have to control the spend from the non-converting product and and then just ramp up the spend from the best converting ones once we are able to do this then the next step is we need to do is to start the remarketing campaigns so now there will be good amount of visitors who will be going to the website but they are leaving the website from the the add to cart page we can reshow them the ads by using the remarketing we can give them some kind of offer that way they will feel like they are they are saving something and then they will go back to the website and give us a sale so now this strategy works really very well for my clients and that's what i have seen in the past 15 years also once we know that there are certain products doing better than the other then we will start the microsoft ads for them with the microsoft ads we will be able to see whether we are able to spend the daily budget because the search volume on the microsoft is, is, is not that good as compared to google but we don't really need to reinvent the wheel once again we can start with those products that are selling the best we can just shift those to the microsoft side of things that way we are able to reduce the learning curve and save some dollars same with the social media side of things so now there is a very big difference between the google side of things and social media because on google ads we target the visitor based upon their needs and on facebook we target the visitor based upon the interest so on facebook side of things we normally get started with the remarketing ads with some kind of offer for the add to cart abandoners we can also start the facebook product catalog ads for the best selling product from google and then that's how we will be able to multiply the sales if you have any campaigns running then you can contact us through whatsapp there is a number on top right corner you can contact us over there and we will be able to let you know what you are doing and what you need to do in order to maximize the roi from the campaigns but if you do not have any campaigns running then don't worry about it you can just still contact us through whatsapp or through our website 
you can just share with us some basic information like your website url your monthly budget and the location targeting then we can do some kind of research and then we'll be able to get back to you with the proposal on what should be your plan of action to take your business to the next level